Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Vintage Baseball Card Packs. If you're a subscriber to the channel, you know that I've done a lot of Project 70 videos. I've been collecting a lot of Project 70 cards, and I think they're a great marriage of art and baseball cards. Today I don't have a Project 70 video, but I have a new type of art card that Topps put out, called Spotlight 70. Spotlight 70 is similar to Project 70 in some ways, but it's different in other ways. Whereas in Project 70, you buy individual cards one by one, designed by different artists, Spotlight 70 is more pack-based. It has a set of 70 cards, all designed and created by one artist, and you buy boxes of 10 cards, and then you collect the whole set that way, kind of like traditional baseball cards. So this is how the box came out, Spotlight 70. This is a box of 10 cards, and they were $20 a piece on Topps website. And like Project 70, they were a limited time offering. So I think these were out for like a month. You had like 28 days to buy these. And depending on how many orders they got, that's how many they printed. In the end, they created 4,344 boxes of these, I believe. So, Let's get into it. Um, Spotlight 70 is by Andy Friedman in ink and watercolor. So this is ink and watercolor. A little bit bio on Andy Friedman. Friedman is on the back. Andy Friedman is an artist, writer, cartoonist, and musician. His work in various forms has been published in the New York Times, Vanity Fair, Rolling Stones, Paris Review, and The New Yorker. And also as a musician, he has three critically acclaimed albums and toured the country extensively, and he's been doing baseball cards since his childhood. So he's a well-known cartoonist and a musician. So this is what the box is. And originally I wasn't going to get this actually, uh, but then when I went to the National, Andy Friedman was actually there. He was handing out some samples of his cards and signing and taking pictures. And I got to know more about the set, and I got intrigued, and I decided to buy some boxes. So I actually bought 10 of these boxes, and today I'm gonna to open up two of them and show you what they look like. So there's a lot of parallels, a lot of extra cards that you can get in here, and maybe we'll go through them as, hopefully I'll hit some of them. So let's open this box up. And while I'm doing this, uh, if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, I've been doing a lot of Project 70 videos lately, and I do a lot of vintage packs. Um, 70s and 80s of Tops and Donners I still have to do. And you'll see a lot of Tops and a lot of different types of, a lot of different types of packs that are already on the channel. So please check them out. And after you watch this video, you can decide whether to like it or not. So let's open this up. And let's see what the 10 cards we get are. So like I said, it's a 70 card set. So each pack has 10 cards. So theoretically with new, no duplicates, seven packs will get you the whole set, but obviously there'll be some duplicates. And here we are. So this is ink and watercolor, so watercolor based. And our first card, 1981 Bucky Dent. So the cards here aren't very like huge, huge names but they're familiar names and good names. So, Bucky Dent. Then we have Sean Green, 2002 Tops. And then we hit our first parallel, Tim Raines. And you'll see Spotlight 70, and I think it's numbered on the back, out of 70. Number two out of 70, pretty good. So every card has a parallel number to 70 with the Spotlight 70 logo on the top. So we hit one here. Then we have a Tom Henke, just to check. Oh, and this is a numbered card also. Um, wow, numbered out of 10. I believe this is a red back, uh, very rare. Tom Henke, red back, numbered out of 10. Wow, pretty good. And the other thing that's big in here is Chances of a sticker autograph, one in three boxes. So I think we got that one in, out of 10 there, so we'll see what we get. In 1983, Jim Cott, a super vet card. Pretty cool. Tommy John, 
of the famous Tommy John surgery. Nice. Record breakers, 1987. I think this is Benito Santiago. Oh, and here's a very cool card. Tennis the Menace, Gene Tennis, 1973. Nice. Joe Girardi and Lee Mazzilli, 1979. So not too bad for the first pack. Uh, let me just double check. We had the two parallels here. The one parallel we did not get is a glossy version. Uh, glossy is number to 50. So we'll see what we do on the next box. So very nice. And like I said, I saw him at the National, so stay tuned till the end of the video. I have, um, just a second. At the end of the video, I'll show you some cards he was handing out at the National, and I got autographed by him. So, nice to get those. All right, same box. So we got 10 cards down. And hopefully we get 10 different cards here to get us 20 cards toward the set. And there's some short print variations also. Um, I'll have to look those. Those are numbered also, I think, to 25. So plenty of ways to get lucky in this set. I think I see a red card in there. Frank Viola, 1983, Twins. Toby Hera, 1972. Spotlight 70, parallel. Oh, very nice. Tim Salmon, Top's Finest. If you know about Top's Finest, uh, they have a sticker on top to cut, protect the card and not get, get it scratched. And he painted it with the sticker on there. Finest, uh, protect, do not remove coating or peel to remove co coating. So pretty cool. And this is number 53 out of 70. Another nice card here. Louis Tiant. And this is, oh wow, like I said, another red card. Louis Tiant. So two red cards at numbered out of 10. Pretty cool. Dale Murphy. Vita Blue, 1976. 1988, Dave Cohn. 1980, Gary Templeton. Mike Pagliariolo, 1985. And Manny Sanguian, 1973, I believe. So very cool set. I'm now very happy that I bought this. So I opened two boxes and now it's tempted to open up another three of them. We'll see what I do. But, and did pretty good on the hits too. We got two Spotlight 70s and two numbered out of 10. Uh, Louis Tiant and Tom Henke. And we got Tim Raines and we got Tim Salmon. So pretty good for two boxes. And let me show you the extra cards that I got um, when I was at the National. I saw him and he was handing out sample cards and I got his auto on it, Andy Friedman. Here's a Dave Parker card. I don't believe I got that today. And a Bobby Abreu. Uh, he numbered it with something. I forget why he numbered it, this number, but I got Andy Friedman, uh, Bobby Abreu, and I got a Dale Murphy auto. So I did get a Dale Murphy today. So Dale Murphy and Dale Murphy auto. So like I said, these were some sample cards he was handing out at the site. So luckily I ran into him and he autographed them for me. So, so there you go. Tops Spotlight 70, Andy Friedman. Hope you enjoyed seeing these cards. I enjoyed opening them for you. And please be sure to hit the subscribe button on this channel. And hopefully you hit the like button. Until next time, I will see you then.